Writer, engineer, and futurist Sir Arthur C. Clarke has studied the controversy for years. Like everyone else, I was very excited when the so-called coal fusion announcement was made. And then, again, like everybody else, I became disappointed and forgot about the whole thing when it seemed to be a mistake. Though I was rather puzzled why two world-class scientists could have made such fools of themselves. Well, during the years that followed, slowly from time to time there came news of other laboratories repeating the experiment and getting positive results. And there's been a sort of groundswell all over the whole world of new information. And during the course of the last five years or so, I've slowly become convinced from my original skepticism to 99% certainty that it is for real. The evidence now is really overwhelming. If major government labs and universities around the world are publishing volumes of data that report the existence of excess heat and nuclear products, why is there still a debate? Why do many influential skeptics still insist that neither fusion nor anything out of the ordinary is going on? If you're doing an experiment, it should be reproducible. You should be able to, if you put the same things in, you should get the same thing out every time. Douglas Morrison of the High Energy Physics Laboratory, CERN. Despite nine years of work, nothing is reproducible. They cannot consistently get the same result every time. There's clearly evidence of anomalous excess heat which occur in these experiments under some rather difficult uh, to achieve conditions, but rather well-defined conditions. There are also in similar experiments sometimes, and rather dissimilar experiments sometimes, evidence of an anomalous nuclear process. And both uh, anomalies are worth uh, pursuing. It's my suspicion, my uh, bias, if you like, that the two anomalies are in fact connected, that there's an underlying fundamental uh, mechanism which connects the two. There is something new coming up. And so, like everybody, uh, uh, you know, professors who teach physics hate to change their courses. Uh, <laughs> and generally, they don't appreciate monsters which crop up and uh, which cannot be explained, explained within the frame of the present knowledge.